I'm inside the building, the City Hall building. This is how it looks like. I'm just uh, crossing, going through it on the other side, and I got my camera on just in case they complain that I'm walking here. Because when I walked in, if security guard on the left side of his office, he got up and uh, almost gave me the impression he was going to tell me you're not allowed to be here. Good day, sir. What's all the police around in the city of Ottawa? Are you guys expecting some trouble? Uh, well, we're here for the uh, demonstrations today. Okay, or the, or the, the pro-life pro march and you expect some uh, people who will be against? Well, I do try to Pro-choice yeah, and yeah, so pro-abortion, sure yeah. there will be the other side there as well, yeah. so we just have to keep the peace. And, well, yeah. good, good, because we do need that kind of security. Because we're living in a troubled world. But I'll be on the Parliament building as well, so I hope I'll see you guys there. Okay. All right. Take care. You so. I hope you guys believe in Jesus. Believe in God. You guys going to die one day. You're on the line. It's important that you should be ready. Okay. Thank you, you know? very much. I'm here to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. I love my neighbor. And I'm warning them about the life after you're dead you're, you die it's not so rosy rosy you know for those that keeps on living and unfortunately those people who's going to protest against the abortion they don't change they're really going on their way to hell that is an abomination in god's eyes of what they're doing and what they're supporting look at what's going on in the state can you not see the, the stupidity of these people how much they're out of their mind the way when they get so angry about it they're ready to kill anybody if they're ready to kill babies, they're sure to kill anybody, even those who are outside the womb. <coughs> anyway, I hope you guys will change your mind. Get get on the right track. Believe in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Not bad. You believe in Jesus? Um, I don't know, I don't really believe in anything. You don't believe in anything? How can you not believe anything when it's all in front of your eyes? I don't know. Where could it have come? 
going to have develop on its own. There's got to be a superior human, a God. Come to Christ, it's the only way to make it. You're still young, but doesn't guarantee you'll live forever. We're all going to die one day. Do it now. Repentance, salvation is now. Not tomorrow. Oh, Father, 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 how many... Uh, I'm gonna pass some gospel track, I think. front or next to Lisgard Collegiate Institute College. <laughs> I guess they'll soon come out. It'll be almost time to come out or maybe they will be on their breaks. <laughs> you know, maybe I should get in the shade over there. Maybe they'll be able to see me more. If anybody wants to come and talk to me, you're welcome. Let's have a civilized conversation, that's what I'm asking. Nothing confrontational. If you want to know why I'm here, I'll tell you. I'm here for the, for the glory of God. You too, folks, you need Jesus. You need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't hear it enough in school or at your, from your parents or friends or any rela relatives or any by any stranger. Well, this stranger here <laughs> is here to tell you the good news, which I am a Bible-believing, Bible-obeying, born-again Christian. photographers here with his camera I don't know if he'll take a picture of me eh. 
Yes, not. Don't mind if you did. Want to take a picture of this? So you can show it to your friends? Here's a good picture for you to put in your album. Yeah. <laughs> you're a photographer, is that what you're learning? You got a wide angle lens? Uh, I don't know what. Actually, I must be. I don't know, I'm still a rookie. Well, takes time. Once you're done this one, I'll get turned around for uh, the other side. Oh, yeah, the other side. Those are gospels uh, from the Bible. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you? Good, you? It's a beautiful day eh, to be outside. It is. When you guys finish school? No, I mean for the summer. Oh, for the summer. Oh, June 25. June 25. Well, it's pretty soon. So what are you learning? Uh, right now, uh, we're taking uh, two photos from computer class. Computer what? Computer class. You guys want something I want to give you? Here's a smiley face. Thank you. You want some too, you guys? I got uh, for everyone. Read what it says behind. It's a, it's save your soul. I love you guys. I'm here because I love you. Love my neighbors. So is that a Canon? Uh, I think it's. A, I think it might be a Nikon. Uh, yes, yeah. it's a Nikon. It says in the front. I had a Canon. Does that take video too? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it does. There's a, yeah. There's like a red button on it. Okay. Yeah, I used to have one, Canon, but didn't have video. Right. You guys want some gospel track? You want to take a picture? You're welcome to take a picture. Oh, sure. I'm videoing you guys. Oh, going to be on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah, I put my ministry on YouTube. There you go. So what do you guys take, a photography too? Yeah. This is your first year? Ready? All right. You guys believe in Jesus? I don't know. Do you? Yes, yeah. definitely. How come? Well, just look at the outside. That's enough proof for me. He, he gave us two things. What's your name, by the way? Olivia. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. My name is Jean Pierre. He gave us two uh, times uh, hands hand uh, to prove that he did exist. He gave us a conscience and his creation, and there's no excuse not to believe in him. Have yourself a good day, and uh, hope you guys will have a good summer. Soon is coming, your, uh, your summer break. Make sure you live carefully, don't get hurt, or don't get injured, or anything like that. I don't want you guys to die. Yeah, that would be unfortunate to this. Yes. Here, I'll bend it down to give you way. There's a branch in the way here. That will be a, a plus in your uh, for your uh, album. You might win a prize for this one. <laughs> wow, you're really taking different angles, eh? Yeah. That's quite different than I used to do. I always stand up. What are you taking beside that? Oh, uh, I'm trying to get you on the side because. Oh, with something else. else. You want to add another thing beside it, yeah. Uh, no, I just think it looks You want to compose like something. Kind of like this. Okay. This is just supposed to be nothing there. Okay. What's your name, by the way, sir? Uh, A young boy? Oliver? William. William. Hi, William. My name is Jean Pierre. Nice meeting you. Believe in Jesus. Trust in Him, walk with Him, talk with Him, ask Him what He wants you to do for your, uh, for your career. <laughs> Welcome, come and take a picture of this. This is not something you see every day. You'll never see this in your lifetime. What's that? 
Believe in Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Come to Christ. It's the only way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I'm here to tell you that. I want you to know the good news. <laughs> There's ways to get out of your sin problem. It's through Jesus Christ. He can save you. He can wash all your sins if you come to repentance and forsake your sins. You will get baptized and wash away your sin to receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. That should be, that should put fear in your mind. That's the only way to make it to heaven. Going to church on Sunday is not going to help you. Doing good things in this world is not going to help you. The only way to make it to heaven is through Jesus Christ and to receive the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you. You, your body is his temple. He has to live inside of you. If he's not there on your day of judgment, Jesus will not recognize you. He will not know you. He would say, I do not know you, depart from me. And there's a lot of Christian, as a matter of fact, professing Christians and pastors and priests who will be sent to hell as well. And they're the ones who's going to ask, Lord, Lord, have we not cast demons? Profess. <laughs> and he'll say to them, depart from me, I never knew you. Hi, not bad yourself? I'm great. Good. Listen, this is a school right here, and yes. we've got kids that are coming out. Yes. Just wondering if you could move a little further back. How farther back? Uh, back to, like, past the parking cage. How about I get right underneath that uh, shade there? Perfect. All Thank right? you so much. Don't see my sign anywhere if I'm here or over there. I don't know why I have to move just about it's 10 a feet. Property, that's the only reason. Oh, well, I thought this was a public property. It's a sidewalk. Thank so... You. All right. Where does it say this belongs to the it's school the property? All right. I'll just stand here. Oh, they're probably teachers. Yeah, I would imagine. Or maybe the administration. You know, if a guy with a pro-abortion or a homosexual flag standing where I was standing, they would not complain. They would not say anything. They would let that person stand there with no problem. But since I have a banner with gospel words on it which means nothing bad about it nothing offenses about it it's a banner that it's like a life preserver I'm not con attacking any mud anybody they're beautiful verses and here they're gonna ask me to move further away from the school in fact you know what they should have said to do they should say come on in come closer to the school they need Jesus. They need to hear his word. They need it for their salvation. No. Just get out of our property. I'm so sad, Father. I don't know. If I was living in 1920, how would they treat a street preacher with a banner? Believe in Jesus. With a banner, will he be treated the same way? Mm, maybe in those days people had more love toward God than they do have today. Or Jesus. Jesus, it's awful. How many hate you so much for what you have done? You know, 
to give an example, a life experience example. If by any chance anyone gets into a lake and finds himself he's going to drown, he's losing his ability to swim or he has trouble to swim and he yells and yells and yells for help and here comes a stranger jumps in the lake and pulls you out of the lake wouldn't you thank him would you look at him and say thank you very much for saving my life without you I would have never made it I would have died thank you for saving my life but you know what when I look at that scenario I see people today when they were taken out from that lake from drowning and somebody comes in and saved them from being drowned. This is what I look at people today. This guy would come, would get up, get up and look at the guy who saved his life and not even thank him. Just pick up his stuff, turn around and walk away. Not even saying thank you for saving his life wouldn't even want to be his friend. But you know, if somebody ever saved me from drowning, I would definitely want him to be my friend for life. And if he does end up in trouble, I would go and help him too. I would not deny him or walk away when he needs my help. And anytime he does call me, even if it's three o'clock in the morning, he needs some help, I would get up and, and do it. But no, today people, they just ignore him. They wouldn't even think that guy who saved their life would not even be his friend. If he happened to be stuck on, on the street and he'd been bullied or been attacked by others, he would not even come and save him. This is what the way I look at in society today, how they treat Jesus. This is maddening. Jesus, for what you've done, and they do this to you, that's a shame. I can see you being so angry. I could see that that day when you'll be coming a second time. I could see the anger you'll have on that day. Good day, how are you? Good, you? Not bad, you believe in Jesus? No. You don't? No. Well, he believes in you, he created you. He knows you, don't you want to know him too? He loves you. Well, do it now before it's too late. If you don't know him, you're condemned already. You gotta know him. Come to Christ, my friend. Oh, my heart breaks so much to see so many are lost. As young as that boy doesn't believe in God. Oh, Father, it breaks my heart to see this. Everywhere I go preach, street preaching, I would say 85% of people that are walking by here don't care about you at all. Because I can see that when I'm out here with my banner, don't even look at it, don't even stop, don't care what I'm here. Well, maybe there's good reason to. Some of them are shy. Some of them don't want to talk to this person. He's crazy. He's not normal. <laughs> Especially I'm an old man, look like an old man with a long white beard. They might think I'm a street, <coughs> a homeless person. That's gone crazy. <laughs> well, I used to, to be like that when I, when I was their age. If somebody uh, stopped me and asked me a question, I wouldn't want to talk to them. I would just walk away. <sighs> But most of the people, they just don't care. They hate Jesus. They hate God. You know, if you love Jesus, you will keep his commandment. Oh, I hope I'll keep my, your commandment, Jesus, because I love you. I hope I will not, not forget them or forget some of them. I hope I obey them all. I hope I won't commit any. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Believe in Jesus? Uh, I guess you don't, eh? 
that breaks my heart. I love you enough to tell you that it's important. Uh, another one. Please, it was polite and say how are you? how are you. God commands all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day in which he will judge the whole world in righteousness. In righteousness. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him there's no darkness at all. If we say we have a relationship with him, and we live in sin, we lie, and we do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the truth and in the, in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and let him return to the Lord. He will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Did you hear that? If you come to him with a contrite heart and sincere godly sorrow, he will open his arm immediately, right on the spot. But there's condition. He will not just forgive you right there. You have to make sure you forsake your sin, you turn your life around, and you abandon your sin, and you come to Christ and you live holy. And another thing that you need to do, you have to be born again. Forsake your sin. Get baptized. Get your sin washed away to receive the Holy Spirit. You know, the society today, how evil people are. They have turned their, their ideas are quite around. They did 180 degrees. They say what is good is bad today. What was bad in the past is good today. Woe to you who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Uh, call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Look how many of those dudes coming out of the, the building going from one building to the other, going to another class, probably don't know about Jesus. I'm here to tell you about Jesus. If you are interested to know about him, come and talk to me. I will show you who Jesus is. And I'll show to you and I'll tell you exactly that Jesus does exist because I can attest to that. He has changed my life around completely. I'm a different person. I'm not the same person as I used to be. That is good enough to show that He does exist and He can do the same thing with you. Come to Christ, believe in Christ, read the Bible. Don't believe in what people tell you these days. It's all lies. You are deceived. If you're in sin, you have to repent of your sin. Come to Christ, guys. This is the school. Part of the hills over there. I know, I'll be there too after. I'm looking at you guys first. Maybe you guys should go in the parliament building and support the pro-life movement. I'm here to tell you about it. If you are interested, you're welcome. But most of you probably be supporting the, the pro-abortion. Unbelievable. Woe to you who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Come to Christ is the only way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Yeah, they're all gospel. Words from the God of the Bible. You want to read the other side? Definitely. 
pro-life, yes? Because Jesus is pro-life. But I think Jesus would like people to have the right to No, not killing his babies. Jesus creates them. Why would he want you to kill them? But it's not a baby if it can't. It is a baby. Where did you come from? I, Weren't you a, a zygote? Were you a zygote? Were you a zygote? A clump of cell at one time in your mother's womb? But you know what? If I was birthed when I was a zygote, I would not be alive right now because they do not have a brain. They cannot teach themselves. Doesn't really matter, but aren't you happy to be alive now? Exactly. That everybody, every child should have the right to have life as well. Don't be so selfish. Take of others. Just because you have a life, you should also give it to the others. Yes, but not everybody wants. We all come from a mother's womb. Come on, guys, wake up. Where do you, where do you guys come from? You come from a dog. The mentality that you have, ma'am, you probably did come from a dog, not from a woman, because you wouldn't think like that. You would want to save a life. You're so powerful in a way. You should be proud to be a woman. You have the power to give, li to give life. Man, I cannot give life like a woman can. I cannot give life. You can give life. Women are there to give life. You have something great. You should be proud of yourself. But I'm only going to give birth to a child if I want to give birth to a child. If I don't want to have a kid, I'll get an abortion. Well, that don't get pregnant then. Why are you getting pregnant? Why don't you take a condom? Why, why are you having sex? Don't have sex. The problem with you people. The, it's not simple. Believe in Jesus Christ, guys. It's the only way to make it. Get on the parliament building, guys. The pro-life is there. No, you can have it. Keep it. You can keep it. I thought you needed to know that. No, I gave it to somebody. Here, you Here, you guys want something? Here. I'm you Muslim. want some gospel crap? I'm Muslim. <laughs> what? Guys, these are nice words from Jesus Christ. Nothing, nothing confrontational. He loves you. He created you. He wants you to be saved. He does exist. Look around you. Look at the trees, the sun, the clouds, a beautiful sunny day. Hello, hello my Christian brother. Uh, How are you doing, sir? All right, are you a Christian? Yes. Really Christian? Yes. You believe, are you born again? Sorry? Are you born again? Yes. You have to be born and receive the Holy Spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. All right, well then, share the gospel with your friend. Do what I'm doing. Do. Try to convince them. So you have to repent. You, Yes, we have to repent. We have to repent in order to be saved. Hello. Hello. Please, guys, I love you guys so much. I'm here to, to tell you the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I could have stayed home and, and enjoyed my life, but I'm here. Even though I'm going to get reprimanded, I'm going to be hated, I'm going to be cursed at, I don't care. But I do it for the love. I love you guys need Jesus. You need Jesus Christ. He's going to come one day. He's coming back soon. If you're not ready, you're not ready at all. If you're still in your sin, you're going to die in the second death. Please don't die in the, the lake of fire. I beg of you. It's the worst. It's the most terrible. It is a live take. It's growing. It's growing. If it wasn't alive, it wouldn't grow. Come on. Does that tree have life? No, it's dead. It's growing. It's growing. It has life. It's not dead. It's got leaves. It's got leaves. If it did, was dead, they wouldn't have any leaves. Come on. Wake up. The mentality of you guys, how blind you are. You guys are so blind, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I oh my God, it has well, been. look, there's still more. Try to take, take them all down. I wish you luck. It'll take you years. I mean, Come on. Wake up. The mentality of you guys, you can't you not see the, the stupidity of your mind? Why you've been so deceived by the stupidity of law in this world? Unbelievable. Believable. Hey, it's a pro-life rally today. Get on the parliament building. And support pro-life movement. Go somewhere else. Please. Everybody's you against will. you. Yes, I don't care. God is is for me, but God is against you. Do you want God to be against you? 
For where you stand, he is against you. He hates the worker of the iniquity. He hates those who are shedding blood. He hates them. He doesn't love everybody. Okay. The only time he loved is only once he did mention it. In John, John 3.16. Because my father's a pastor and he told me Jesus loves everybody. Not everybody who's sitting. Those are sitting, he doesn't love them. He will love them if you come and repent. You have to repent. Then your pastor is not teaching you the right thing. He's a wrong, he's a false pa prophet. He's a false pastor. If he says Jesus loves everybody, he doesn't love everybody. Those who are sitting are killing babies. He doesn't love them. Come to Christ. Because you're going to regret it one day. I'm here to glorify God and try to tell you guys, I love you guys, I don't want you guys to go to hell. I want you to make it to heaven. I, I, I don't want to build a bias. But you're telling us that Jesus doesn't want to love us? I want to understand both sides. I don't want to have a biased opinion about the same time. Yes, but they, you got to know this. There's right and wrong, right? Yeah. So, if you know there's something wrong, would you tell him? Would you tell him? Like, for instance, somebody wants to kill their baby. Would you tell him that's wrong? If somebody is living in sin, if somebody is living in sin, you know they're living in sin and they don't want to stop sitting. Would you tell them that you, if you keep sitting, if you keep sitting, you're going to end up in hell? It depends on what, what you consider as a sin. What sin are you talking about? Well, fornication, first of all, okay? Sin's outside, uh, sex outside of marriage. That is against God. He doesn't allow that. The only time sex is, 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 uh, is acceptable is between a man and a woman in a monogamous relationship, a loving relationship. That's the only time you can have sex. You cannot even masturbate. You cannot have sex outside of marriage. Do you have children? You cannot even masturbate. You cannot have sex outside of marriage. That's the only. So what would you tell him? What would you tell that person if he keeps on sinning? Would you tell him you're going to go to hell or are you going to stay quiet? Do you have a doctor? Do you have a doctor? I would rather go to hell. Well, it's not hard to answer that question. It's very simple. I mean, it does depend. On I know it's going to hurt the person, but you have to tell them the truth, guys. Young man, you got to tell them the truth. It does depend on what you consider. The truth hurts sometimes. It does hurt. If you had cancer, wouldn't you like me to tell you have cancer or just let it go? Let it go. You really hate him. You really hate him. That's what hate is. I'm Muslim, bro. Yeah, you hate your neighbors. Oh, if yeah. you're not going to tell them, you won't tell the person, you won't tell the person's got cancer you and you had the cure? Hang on, you Would you not tell them? No, they don't have the cure. Hang on, you okay. asked us if you you'd like us Big part? to know, you have mental health like issues? you tell us. No, my mental health is very secure in God, in the blood of Jesus Christ. I think your mental health is the one that really needs to be, to be uh, looked at. Is it? Yes, you should get your brainwashed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you are you indoctrinated to a false teaching. Sign? You're indoctrinated by the <laughs> Satan of the devil who is inside of you. Your I father is the devil sign. and you're a son of the devil if you think like that. But I don't want that for you. I want you to go to heaven, my friend. Do you have a doctor? I don't want you to go to hell. Why not? Because it's a terrible place to be for eternity. In the lake there? of fire. You Burn been? yourself you and see how there? you will have like you it. Been? Set I've yourself been. on fire. I burned myself once. Well, how does it feel? You're already saved. God, Buddha, Muhammad loves you. You don't have You to don't know it. nothing you about the Bible. You don't know love nothing yourself, about the Bible. Parents, don't believe in this guy. This of course, you guys are going to love him. There you go. You got to love the person hey, telling you lies. He's a liar. God said, I'm the only way to make it to heaven. You, I'm you, the way, you, the you, truth, you, and you, the life, you, sir. You, no one comes to the Father but through me. Okay, you sir. Yelling? You see? Do you see how he was wrong? Did you, did you see what he just said to you? He hates you. He wants you to go to hell. Like five times our age, dude. Do I don't care. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a daughter? I don't have to be a doctor. Why do I have to be? Have you have a uh, what? Are you a father? Yes, I am a father. Do you have a daughter? I don't have any daughters. You have no, sons? No, I have sons. What would you, what would you do if your daughter was raped? 
What would you do if she was forced to have sexual affiliations with her teacher, with her neighbor? In it's funny how you guys she... always come no. with this argument no, all the time. As true. if all women are being raped. No! Only 1% of, right. of them are raped. Only 1% of them are raped. What about the 99% of those women who have you been who are pregnant? What about people? them? What about them? The people have been sexual. What about them? About those 99% of those women who are pregnant and were not raped and they want to kill their baby. It's not their body. The body inside is a different body than their body. They have another one. They don't have four legs. They have two legs and two more legs inside of them. A body? No. Where did you come from? Where did you come from, sir? My mom's womb. Where did you come? I think you can tell that I'm not going for being called. Well, that, that's another wrong thing to do. You were not born that way, sir. You were born a man. You were born a man. What does your medical record say to you on the day you were born, sir? They told me it was a mistake. It was not a mistake. God doesn't make a mistake. If you don't like the way God created you, you are in serious trouble. Seriously. No, God doesn't make mistakes. Everything he does, it's pure and holy and true. He never lies. Teachers, teach your children what they need to know. I can't believe it, the mentality of all of them. What is wrong with you teachers? You probably are atheists as well. Unbelievable. That's what they need. They need the gospel. They need Jesus Christ in their heart. The mentality they have in their mind, they're heading straight to hell. Don't you guys not realize this? Oh, Father, Father, Father. Have mercy on their soul. Because right now, there's no hope for them if they don't repent. Repent, repent, repent and forsake your sins. Bad teachers we have today. They probably teach sexual education in the wrong way. Let the parents teach the sex education on their own. Don't let another one do it. Oh, Father, I'm going to head on to the Parliament building now.